Right, I'm fiddling around. I've got literally like four different types of lipsticks to show you. Trying to see which one will work with our look. Welcome back. This is the oh, Christmas jumper. Here we go. Literally that fits in, doesn't it? Like I've got a very small head and a very big body. Maybe I have. Mostly you don't see anything but from my neck, do you? Anyway, wishing you lots and lots of lovely joy for this time of year. And I hope however you celebrate, that it's nice and cosy and warm and merry. That's the most important thing. Um, I'm going to, I was just about to put my chair down a little bit, maybe I'll just move the camera just so you can see my face a bit more, seeing as we are a makeup channel. And um, we, <laughs> obviously it's a we thing, couldn't do this by myself. Well, I could do, I guess, and I do do, but it'd be pretty boring. <laughs> Yay, my little friend on top of my nose has gone or underneath my nose. And I reckon that's down to these Shiseido products. It's not sponsored by Shiseido or anything. They did send me them. Really, really nice. Um, I save a lot of my Shiseido products for a friend of mine who loves them and always buys Shiseido when she goes through to the airport. It's really good actually, because I was in there, in there? I was in an airport a couple of weeks ago. And um, the discounts are brilliant. Future Solutions, the serum and moisturizer, they are new and I have to say, if you are a Shiseido fan, you love their skincare intensive firming contour serum and the Future Solutions um, legendary um, Solution LX is just divine and skin is feeling plumped, hydrated and very, very yummy. I've also started, very, very yummy, that's not very professional, is it? My skin feels very hydrated and soft and when I put this cream on, it tends to last. The hydration in my skin lasts, whereas sometimes I've got a cream, a moisturiser upstairs in my bedroom that I use, and then by the time I've sort of come down an hour after, I feel like I need more hydration. This is extensive moisturisation. That's better, isn't it? That's more of an explanation, otherwise it's a bit flippant. It's a bit throwaway, and if I'm gonna recommend things to you, I should recommend them with good backup. Um, I've just started using the Zip Halo. I've used it twice. There is absolutely no improvement, <laughs> obviously. I'm going to try and use it four times a week until I come back to you guys in January. You literally attach it to your phone. It's a micro and nano current. It's for lifting. I just thought it would be quite nice to kind of just get rid of a little bit of the looseness there around my chin and jaw and to see whether it works. With any of these beauty tools, you have to keep doing them. You have to keep doing them. So I'm going to try. Um, if you have used it, please let me know. Any feedback would be great because I'm just going to leave it by my bedside and try and do that only four minutes a day just to see whether it kind of makes a difference. So you might see me all new and renewed in January. Right, um, I'm going to try and use some of the favourite things and I've got a new beautiful Dior palette which I want to tell you about um, because I used this on a shoot. Actually, it hasn't come out yet. It's absolutely beautiful. And actually, when I looked at it, probably much like you may have thought just now as I've showed it to you. Same old, same old. Bit of an off black, metallic grey, white, silver. Um, it's the finish of this product that makes it really modern and the texture and how kind of like soft and watery it looks on the eye. So I can do a strong smoky eye and then, I don't know, a happy lip, a dark red, a sexy, a hydrating lip. I'm not sure. Violette, Estee Lauder, Dior or just sort of my NARS air matte happy place. I don't know. I'm grateful to have so much choice. Um, it's hard, isn't it? But that's what makes us all beauty addicts on this channel. Let me get on with my base. I'm going to be using the Revital Essence again by Shiseido. Um, this is one that I've been using a lot of. I think I used it last week. Um, super, super hydrating on the skin. Um, feels very much like Skincare, it's packed full of skincare with proven results to make your skin look better after four weeks. Maybe this has something to do with my little imperfection that was underneath my nose. Um, anyway, again, because my skin is dry and is so thirsty and so needy at this time of year, this has been wonderful. I would love a little bit of homework from everyone, if you don't mind. Um, in the comments, it'd be really nice I've got a few plans for January, um, uh, but I'd love to know if there's anything that you would like me to do 
so when I kind of look over your comments during the holidays and stuff it's always nice to do it intermittently um, so that I've got time for sort of like genuine um, replies to you because otherwise if you just do it really quickly you're not sort of taking it in or making a note of who I try and remember the names and all the lovely things you say there was one lovely thing last week that a lady said she snuggles up in her bed with her daughter and watches me in the morning which oh it's just so lovely it's such a nice thing to think about um so yes anything that you would particularly like me to go through to recap on or maybe to do like the best concealers in or a variety of foundations or you know the best mascaras and why just as a kind of recap or whether you just like new products whether it's more just like an insight to what's happening in the industry beautiful skin radiant concealer next i go super light this is one fair um charlotte tilbury um i don't know whether you're already and prepared i'm not that ready and prepared um, and my sister called me yesterday and she's just like, yeah, so I'm just kind of like finalising everything. I'm like, oh my God, how can you be so good? Just sort of don't have the, I suppose I don't have the inclination to get ready early, like at the beginning of December. I, I suppose I'll do a last minute rush, but it would be nice to have sort of a week of thinking, oh, ready, but you're never ready, are you? Because then you decide to meet someone, then you have want to get them with something special, you're inspired by something, oh I don't know. Yes I wish I was a bit more organised but I'm not. Oh I just love it when I get the concealer on this bright and I just know that it's going to be so refreshing on my face. And that's why it's nice to um, see with the Shiseido one you can still see a little bit of the imp Im your Im imperfections. Um, that light's changing a little, um, but I, I don't mind that. I just like the nice hydration, it's a nice sheer finish. But this is a really nice concealer underneath the eyes. Gives us a bit of radiance to the skin as well. Um, it doesn't dry out and that's key. So that's everything with my fingers. And I'll just use this clay de brow brush just to give everything a nice little once over for that sort of polished effect this firm brush good let's start there um tatcha has a really lovely i call it a beauty balm it's actually called a serum stick um been really enjoying using this at work and on myself and i've had it in my handbag um throughout the day just to give myself a little bit of a boost rather than having something that's kind of like really sparkly and highlightery um, I've just been putting this on the outside of my face and sometimes just over the fine lines on my forehead. It just tends to add a little bit more hydration and sort of dimension so your kind of skin looks more real. Um, really nicely packaged, super lightweight. It's great for travel um, and just great for, I know, your handbag or whatever. But if you've got dry skin, you'll really, really appreciate this. So that's quite nice, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time at home. Um, maybe with the heating on it's quite nice to have that freshness. I'm going to pop on a little cheek I think before I go on to my eyes just to balance it out because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go with it. Let me do a little bit of powder. I'm going to use my Vive and I'm shade medium. Just love this packaging. So nice. Took it out last Saturday when we went out for dinner and it's just it's just such a nice a nice case. Use a small little firm brush. Oh, this is a this is a V one one nine conceal and prime, literally coincidentally. Just put that round, just over the top of my lip, around the nose. It's a nice smoky eye for those of you who are thinking, what's she going to be doing? Because last week's was lovely with the sparkles, and I love the fact that a lot of you thought, mm, what's she up to this week? It's not so great. And then I managed to convince you, which was great, mostly I think. Um, I'm going to take a small 108 brush and I'm going to use my lovely Hourglass palette. This is the one with the tigers on the front. I'm not sure if it's got a number. Lightning Edit Unlocked Leopard. Just called Leopard. These are such, if you've got a beauty treat to give someone, these are so lovely. Uh, multi pigments here and here. And you've got a lovely warm bronzer which you can obviously lighten. Um, by mixing with the two lighter ones and then that nice kind of like fresh wintry pink at the front 
So let's go, let me just show you what I mean. That would obviously be too bronzy for me at the moment. But if I just add that together with the other one, it kind of gives me a little bit of dimension, but not too heavy. So you've kind of got that warmth that you can put on the perimeter of your face. It's also great for traveling in this, in this tin as well, the aluminium tin. Um, nothing cracks. They're really good pigments actually at staying in their casing and they last forever and ever. So just nicely adding a little bit of warmth there so I didn't look so pale. And then I'm gonna use the mixture of the pink and then the multi-pigment to give me a little bit of a sheen. I'm gonna smile and put that on the apples of my cheeks just to make my face a little bit fuller and fresher. And I might have ever done that, but let's just see if we can blend it in a bit more. Pigment is more than I thought. So let's flush that out so it's not so perfect. And then if you feel you've ever done it, take your brush, it's just that center part of your face there, which you can add. Do you see how beautiful, look, I mean, look. That is such a lovely kind of like hyper real effect on my skin, which really kind of benefits my face shape. Gives me a little bit of fullness at the front of my face, but just, it just looks really luxurious. And really that was quite simple, but just these beautiful pigments are so, so nice. Lovely gift. Um, it feels very nice. You can use this on the eyes. It'd be nice actually, maybe in January, I'll do one, a whole look with the palette. because You don't need to just stick to those colors just for your cheeks. You can use it for your eyes as well. I did use my little Nabla. Um, I ink, we just fill in a few little hairs here and here, just to give a little bit more thickness and at the front and pull out my tail a bit more. Good, all right. Now, um, should we use a little we could use the little sponges. I do love a sponge. Do you keep the little sponge applicators in these um, palettes? I wonder whether you do or not. I think they're really nice. Um, because like the cotton buds, you get to compact the powder around your eye and be sort of quite dedicated to where you're applying it to. So how strong shall we go? So let's go in with the super light, literally the white, Okay, over here. So this is where I want the lightness. I want the darkest to kind of, darker shades to kind of go loop around my eye in a different way. And if you go in dark, do you see what I mean? That looks kind of quite cool. Almost like the shadow that I put on my tear duct last week. It was too much, it was too dense. But can you see how surprisingly sort of soft and watery this is? Even though it's got the pigment, it just is a really nice, sheen to it. So I'm starting off light because I want to keep this the highlight part. I don't want to go too dark and then we'll build it up slowly and just see where we go I think. Okay I'll put a little bit here and here but I don't want to put too much. I'm using the tip of the applicator because again that helps you be more precise about it. I'm quite nice about using like a diddy very close to the camera, aren't I? A very diddy applicator as well around your eyes. Okay, shall I go extreme? Let's just go straight in with a kind of charcoal black. And I'm gonna lay that right in my inner corner and then blend up. So I want a really nice blurring effect. So it's dark and deep in there and then blending it into the soft highlight. And I think it's always important when doing your eyes that you get the color on a bit like the concealer. Don't be scared that it's kind of really dark and rich. So I've got it all loaded on here and it's gonna come out dark and it's gonna come out strong. Don't then go, oh Lord, and then start scrabbling away. 
trying to really get rid of the colour because you think it's going to be too much to have a bit of patience and just keep just blending the product you know think of it very much like a painting a piece of art sometimes you know blending these colors into your features it's really making me go cross-eyed at the moment isn't it <laughs> um just give yourself a moment to let these colors give your shape give your face shape and it's all trickery isn't it you can see how it's really not making me look that beautiful right now is it it's not really benefiting my features at all because the dark is bringing it in on the inside but that will obviously change now we will so so therefore when you're doing these things to shape your eyes um, it will bring out your beauty so just go with it slowly I'm now patting in the silvery kind of more molten metallic shade to then give myself a little bit of graduation before I go super dark on the outside. Blending that in and then we're going to go super black on the outside but what I'm actually going to do I'm going to go in with my pencil first because I don't want the pen to go over the black. I want to go black first because I want to make it a little bit darker than the inside so I can really stretch my eye out. So I'm pulling the skin as much as I can. I'm wedging the nice soft, this is such a Charlotte Tilbury, the rock and coal, on the outside. And you can see how it gets a little bit bumpy because my skin is uneven. So you just take your wicked cotton bud and blend, blend, blend. And then on the outside here, just push it up very slightly so you're going to kind of wing it out but very very softly make sure you look in the mirror and you want to bring it up now, I haven't gone too far because I want to bring the eye out and make it look really pulled out and extended and let's just do the waterline now we're going to see whether I take it on the lower lashes but I think I might do that later to give yourself a little bit of a lift, once you've done the waterline, take the pencil in the corner of your eye and then blink very slowly. You see what that does? It just lifts the colour up just a little bit on the edge, you see? So put the soft coal in the corner of your eye and blink and blink and blink. Now that gives you that really lovely little soft flick. And especially if you have eyes like mine that you can't really, I can't do the flick anymore. This just gives you a little bit of a, a lift. You can see the shape of my eyes. I love it when you can really, really change the shape of your eye just by using makeup. This little lift here isn't causing any problems or isn't creating that kind of like heartbeat effect when you create a beautiful graphic line, but then it, it doesn't really sit beautifully on your eye shape. This is giving me that kind of like sexy sort of little kitten wing, but it's super soft and it will all come together obviously when I put on the mascara. So now I need to take a small firm brush. I'll take this one and I want to follow that line because as you can see, my eye is very dark around the lashes and then the white is making the white come forward, so it's really unflattering. So to get that depth in, which is what we need, so I'm just bringing that round and just adding the darkness, but not too much, just nice and gently, so that I'm starting to open out that eye and creating that soft, soft shadow of definition of the socket. So you want to get that nice depth in and you see how rich it is on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm bringing it with a soft shadow and we're going to buff that in beautifully in a moment. Lovely. And then we'll do a wash of the nice metallic or even maybe a little bit of the Tata Harper, Tata Harper, the Tatcha. God, Tata Harper, that's a brand I haven't thought of for a long time. Anyone still use her skincare? 
Yeah, what a lovely organic skincare in the green bottles. Right, nice soft fluffy brush. I'm going to break down that shape so it's not hard but it's still strong and giving me that eye shape. And then I'm going to go back with the super, super light colour mixed with the central gold. It's always a shame to go over the uh, embossing of the Dior. It gives a lovely, cool glow. A nice sheen. Not that back slightly, blend those two in together. Lovely. Nice, obviously that will come together with the um, mascara. So again, it's really nice to do the comparison between the eyes. Could probably go even darker going back into that socket to match this shape here. Now I've got that lovely softness again, just finishing in and sharpening that socket. Oh, makes it even more delicious because you get that nice graduation of colour. Quite like that the lid, it's quite 60s, isn't it? That the lid is sort of quite soft. And let's blend that through. Just softening again so it's always apply the colour then kind of blend there we are happy with that so you can see the difference in the eye shape so let's just go through that again so I've put a soft wash of the colours on I'm going to go in now I'm going to stretch my eye from this side because I just find it easier with this hand rather than kind of coming around here and pulling but up, up totally up to you so wedge that coal in remember I'm not going to yeah I do find it easier from this side <laughs> Um, stretch the skin and don't go down so you want to keep it to before it drops down and then you close your eye take it up close your eye just literally don't do anything let the pencil come up on its own so it makes that baby flick soft baby flick and then you extend it up 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 always up 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 and then blend through This is my sleepier eye. You see that eye is much more awake. They say it's always the side you sleep on, but I'm such a fidget, I'm gonna sleep. I've got, I woke up the other day. <laughs> I wasn't with my husband. <laughs> I was actually round the other end of the bed. I mean, no wonder I'm exhausted. Um, such a fidget, so who knows? But this, we always have like a fresher side, don't we? So close and lift. So this side, because it is more sleepy, doesn't even have that kind of lift. You wait till I get that socket in and that will really help it. But it still allows me to have that migration of colour that is doing that nice lift to my face. So going in with a little, little brush, beveled, and coming from that line up into my socket. Sort of just to almost where my pupil is. When you look in the mirror straight ahead, that's where you kind of want to get that line. And if you just want to freshen this up completely, you just put more of the lovely soft shimmery shadow over the top and that just kind of makes it much more reflective and lighter. So we've got that shade on, go through it again softening now remember not to go backwards and forwards you just want to bring it in because if you go to the side you're going to bring the color down and it's all about keeping that color really tight within your eyelid so blending it through and a little bit of the gold and the silver mixed together to get that nice texture and sort of finish across you can probably blend that through that other side that's why it's nice, I think, to have time to be able to do your makeup so that you're not in a rush. She's coming together slowly. Um, because if you're in a rush and you kind of skip a little blending step or you just, you know, you're just thinking of something else and then it doesn't go right and you get in a flimmin, start using your fingers, right? 
and like oh no it's not working just give yourself a little bit of time if it's a nice evening and you want to look lovely obviously you can use this sort of format um, of application with all different types of colors but I wanted to do this against my sweatshirt um, it's quite nice to have a smoky eye and for it to be in sort of like more casual wear so nice and soft rubbing it inside this is a great one for inside how are we doing matching up slightly this is nice and soft that's probably a little bit more angled so again let's just push that back there soften it out coming together right have to say some mascaras i've been absolutely loving this lord of mascara um also the victoria beckham one is great too really sort of full-on mascaras that kind of stay put um and wash off really easily um if you like a mascara that kind of gives you like full-on impact and with this type of look you definitely she says literally is putting it all over her eyes quickly remove that before it dries um with this sort of look you don't want to go light on the mascara you really want to make sure that the most important feature is your mascara and that your mascara really stands out even if you just do one coat um, it can look a bit soft so a dramatic eye really lends itself to a really voluminous volumizing um, you know quite richly pigmented mascara I mean it's just literally transformative Now, I like the fact that I kind of give you a moment to compare because I think that really helps you learn. And that's the whole point of this channel, sharing what I know with you guys so that you can enjoy, improve, play a bit more. Whatever you take from these little videos um, is fine by me because your messages that I read throughout the week are just um, so lovely. I could be on a bus you know, waiting for maybe the hairdresser to finish at work or whatever I'm doing. And it's just so lovely to read all your messages. I feel very lucky. Thank you. So I'm going to do three coats. The brush is really twisted and dense, which allows the mascara to also be the same, but it doesn't end up looking cloggy. So just pull down those lashes as long and as stretchy as you can. And that kind of just gives a really wonderful look. So it looks like it was kind of quite dramatic and, well, it is dramatic, but actually when you sort of put it all together, it just looks like a sort of strong smoky eye. But what it's doing is it's kind of really shaping your eye. It's benefiting your eye shape by just adding a little bit of depth to push the socket back. And that kind of modern sort of like soft sheen, even in these kind of like cooler palettes. So, happy with skin, happy with everything, that's fine, it's just the lip. So I sort of thought the NARS one would look sort of fresh and because my, my top is kind of cheerful, I thought maybe a fresher lip will lift it. Then this Dior one was quite nice because it was quite browny and that sort of made it more sort of subdued and kind of calmer and richer. Um, and then there was the Violette one, which is really nice, but I thought that might be too dark. Well, let's go for the dual one. This has come with this palette. And then if not, we can lift it maybe with the NARS. It's a really nice texture. It's got a big flat doe foot. Yeah, and it's a bit like the lovely warm tones of the like Lisa's Velvet Cinnabar that I used last week. So maybe you've got like dark hair, dark complexion and you don't like the kind of like strong juxtaposition of a, of a bright red, this is nice. This is kind of like a subtle red because of the warmth in it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my happy one. I think this is actually making everything look a bit sort of dark and a bit mean somehow on my skin. I think it was better with a lighter one. So let me just take that off. This would be really quite nice with like a sort of coppery 
a beautiful bright lifting coppery on my eyes but I think with the dark eyes and the dark green it's sort of making me sort of collapse on myself if you know what I mean so let me just pop a little bit of my cellular water let's go for the really happy one the nice NARS air mat and see where that lifts lifts it so let's apply the mad rush and yeah even with my <laughs> dreadful application I like to I put this on in the center and then stretch it and that way I don't get too much color on my lip oh la la she comes together it's very velvety it's very velvety and it's too strong right now and it's slightly clashing with the pink I can I can adjust that but for me that makes the whole look if I just sort of come back and show you with a jumper it just just looks just a little bit more modern and fresh the drier lipsticks actually that are still hydrating oh I haven't tried I'm just actually thinking house labs I haven't tried any the house lab products they're meant to be amazing uh, I've seen Lady Gaga apply lots of her products I haven't been to Sephora to try it out yet mm -mm -mm. right cotton bud soften the edge these colours and textures lend themselves to kind of like a softer finish, I think. And it's nice if you're sipping bubbles, it doesn't end up necessarily all over the glass. Nice, so because I've changed that, I'm just going to warm my hands slightly. And just add that little hint of orange that's coming from the lips. Oh, what have I got there? God, it's like I've been up a chimney or something. <laughs> it must have come from the eyeshadow. Oh, goodness me. God, doesn't it just change everything? Just a little bit of softness. And sort of take it round as well. It's not too angular, softens the look where it's hard from elsewhere. Good! Yay! There she is. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. And in fact, I was going, I was fiddling around with these little lights. I like to put my little battery pack in my uh, bra strap and um, tie my hair up and then weave some little lights around it, which is a uh, my sort of go-to New Year and Christmas look in the kitchen. Anyway, there we are, 2023. Thank you very much for all you've served up for us in many different ways, the highs and the lows. Um, but thank you again for tuning in for another whole year. I'm so lucky to have a lovely audience to share um, my passion and I'm really glad that um, I get to inspire you guys too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I wish you a lovely Christmas, a safe, happy new year with friends and family. And I look forward to seeing you in the new year at some point. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves.